variety of ancient Tausuk weapons. This is the barong. The story goes, the barong is the one the Tausuk warriors used to cut off an M14, a carbine, because it is the blade is thick. As you can hear it, it's pure. The barong was a deadly weapon. The sword with a single-edged leaf-shaped blade made of thick tempered steel. This approximately one meter long weapon was used in close hand-to-hand -hand battle to cut Spanish firearms down to size. The Chris or Calis was both a weapon of warfare and ceremony. This sword, measuring up to 1.2 meters in length, was not only carried by slave raiders into battle, but also by nobles and high-ranking officials of the Southern Sultanates. Double-edged and with either a smooth or wavy blade, the Chris could make quick work of any enemy in close combat. The reason for these curvings is for easy slashing. The steel would penetrate the bone and it would stick, so it's very hard to pull. So they, the Tausu warriors made, made it like this, so you can actually pull it faster. The longest of the swords used by the raiders, primarily the Ilanun, was the Kampilan. This heavy, single-edged sword was often adorned with hair to make it look even more intimidating. It was also common to find Kampilan with grooves cut into the blade to indicate the number of lives it had claimed. At the end of the blade, at the tip of the blade, are two horns projecting from the blunt side, which is being used to pick up the head of a capitated body. <laughs> 